G'day guys, Andrew coming to you live from the MATLAB today. I've got some cool tests for you guys to try out utilizing your mat. And we're gonna be focusing on single leg lateral hops. So a particularly important movement when we're looking at return to sport, cutting, agility, all of those different types of movements because these are the movements that those individuals need to be able to perform really well. And often when we're dealing with a later stage uh, rehab case or something like that, these are the things that we often neglect. So having a good battery of tests that we can use to really objectify how individuals are performing with these type of movements can be really valuable in making sure that we're making our patients, our clients, our athletes, making sure that they're super safe when they're returning to sport. So the two tests that we're going to be looking at today, we're gonna to look at our single leg lateral hop, looking at how many reps uh, we can perform over time, as well as how short a period of time it can take to perform a, a set of reps, 10 repetitions to be exact. So the first one here, you can see on my map, I've marked out uh, a little spot here because we've gotta be using a certain distance when we're working with this. So we've got our zero mark here, our start line using the mat, and then what we've got is our 30 centimeter mark, which I've marked off here on the side of the mat. Now we're gonna be using that for when we're performing our test, which is to perform 10 repetitions, and then we're gonna just time how long it takes to perform that on both sides. That's the first test that we're gonna do. Then you can also see here, I've got my other mark, which is at the 40 centimeter mark, okay? So this is the one where we, we're gonna be testing a little bit more endurance. It's gonna be for how many uh, repetitions can be performed over a 30 second period. So it takes a little bit longer, it's a little bit more fatiguing, and I think particularly when we're dealing with those individuals, uh, particularly from a, a return to sport uh, standpoint, these ones can be really, really important. So I'm gonna test myself out on both of these, and I'm probably gonna do pretty poorly because I'm, I'm not very well practiced at this, but I'd love to see you guys test it out as well, just to see uh, what type of results we're getting through there. So just to come back to some of the normative data though, and some, what some of the research and what some of the evidence says with some of these things. What we've got is with our, uh, how long it takes for us to perform our 10 repetitions from side to side, jumping from side to side. What we're seeing here is that with those individuals, we're looking for almost within that 10% difference from side to side, and usually that's within one second difference, so to perform those 10 reps. So we'll see how we go there. When we look at our uh, maximum amount of repetitions that we can perform over a 30 second period, what we're finding there is that from the normative data, from the evidence, most males are performing around 55 repetitions side to side, as well as then the females are around the 43 repetitions. So it's great to have some normative data that we can refer back to with the people that we work with. Okay, so really important stuff. Some other really important considerations though before we get started with this test is, number one, we've got to make sure the quality and the accuracy of the repetitions is really high. Okay, so we can't have failed repetitions and be counting those. To make sure that we're not getting any failed repetitions, we've got to be strict on the positioning of the feet. Okay, so I'm going to be trying my best. Now I might, I might not be the best at it, but what we've got to make sure is that we're getting 100% over each line, okay? So the foot has to be completely over the start position, the start line here, as well as the foot being then completely over either the 30 centimeter mark, if it, we're doing it on the first test, or the 40 centimeter mark, if we're doing it on the second one there, okay? So we've got to make sure we're very strict on how those repetitions are being performed. The other thing, of course, is to consider safety, okay? So I'm gonna be performing this test off the mat, just to be extra safe. Uh, look, probably on these rubber gym tiles here, there's not too much slip on the mat. You could maybe perform it on the mat, but certainly if you're performing it on any other surface, I definitely wouldn't be recommending it. Just because we are gonna be hopping from side to side, there could be a little bit of uh, lateral movement or lateral slip on the mat. So we always wanna be safe whenever we're performing any testing. The other thing to consider as well is neither piece of research, which I'll post up as well, uh, there, they didn't actually stipulate whether or not the individuals performed them 
in barefoot or in shoes. Now I'm gonna perform them in shoes just because that's what I wanna do, but you might wanna consider that too, depending on the individual that you're working with, make sure you consider the footwear that they could be working with. Uh, because that's going to be important. All right, so what we're gonna do, we're gonna do the first test. So that's where I'm gonna perform 10 repetitions on both sides, 30 centimeters apart, okay, as fast as I possibly can. Now, I'm gonna try and time it here using my, uh, my stopwatch that you can see. So it might not be 100% accurate, obviously, uh, because I'm trying to perform the reps and do it myself, but you, obviously, as a practitioner, will be able to do this a, a little bit better. Okay, so let's give this a go, shall we? All right, so I'm gonna start off popping to the medial side. Okay, so I'm at my 30 centimeter mark here. All right, and I'm going to go now. Cool, so about six or so seconds on my left side. So then what we'll do is we'll try the same, but on the right side. Cool, and so maybe slightly longer, about six and, uh, and a little bit there, I think on, on that one. So hopefully fell within that one second difference from side to side and within 10% if we were looking at, uh, at that test there. Now, when it comes to the research there as well, what they then did is obviously stipulated a rest time in how they were performing it because they performed three trials and they gave a three minute rest from each rep just to allow the person to recover and then uh, perform it again. They took the best trial out of that one, okay? So it wasn't an average. It was whichever was the best uh, best attempt, okay? All right, so now the next one, the tough one, is we're gonna do 30 seconds for max reps. Now, I'm only gonna do this on one side, just so that I don't bore everyone to tears, and, uh, and we've gotta go as fast as we possibly can. Now, I'm gonna be aiming for about 55 reps at least. That was the normative data for the males, and we're going to uh, perform that one, obviously, over 30 seconds from the zero to the 40 centimetre uh, mark here. And so hopefully I do okay. All right, so let's have a look at this one. Okay, so we're on the 40 centimetre mark here, okay? And I've got 30 seconds to do as best as I can here. All right, hope you guys are counting at home. All right, ready? challenging with that one there on the old left leg so 46 reps there so a little way off the 55 which was the normative data for some of the athletes that they were assessing in that test got to catch my breath Whew. so once again with that one you would perform your three trials have a, uh, a good rest period in between and take the best attempt out of that now when they went to the research and they looked at some of these tests they found that those individuals, particularly individuals dealing with lower limb injury, particularly ACL injury, were particularly uh, limited on these tests here. So some big, big differences. Uh, once again, I'll share some of the research there with you and some of the images of that, but I think even almost a 70% you know, difference side to side with some of those individuals comparing their affected side to their non-affected side. So some great tests there, some easy ones that you can perform with your mat, uh, that once again, just very quickly, very easily, can start collecting some objective data, and particularly in those lateral movements. They're the ones that are always, sometimes the hardest to assess well, so, and usually really, really important from a sporting sense. So 
get out there, give these ones a go. I want to see uh, some people posting their results as well. Francis, I know you will post a, uh, a go there. So get out there, give it a go, and uh, looking forward to seeing how you guys go.